This just in, a massive heat wave will be hitting Texas today with temperatures in the high 90s. Looking at our five day forecast, we can expect the heat wave to pass pretty quickly and by tomorrow morning we will be hit with a cold front with moderate to severe rain and possibly freezing sleet. Gosh, isn't that just Texas weather for you? Hey scientists, let's talk about weather and climate today. Weather, like we were just describing, is the day-to-day -day or even the hour-to-hour -hour change in the Earth's atmosphere. To describe weather, you could use a thermometer to take the temperature. This tells you how warm or cold it is. But to get the most accurate results, it's best to keep your thermometer housed in a white box out of the sun. You could also describe the amount of precipitation or water falling back down to Earth. We generally measure rain precipitation with a simple rain gauge in inches, but with solid water precipitation like snow, we use a ruler. You could also measure the wind direction with a weather vane, or the speed with an anemometer. You can measure the pressure using a barometer, and there are hygrometers to measure humidity. Or you can measure cloud coverage by simply stepping outside, taking a look at the sky, and describing what you see. There are a lot of different types of clouds, but the ones that we generally pay attention to the most are the ones that bring rain, cumulonimbus or thunderstorm clouds, and stratonimbus or the clouds that bring slow and steady rain. You could take all of these measurements every day, every hour, or even every minute, and they would still give you an idea of the weather. But once you zoom out, and start speaking in general terms for a specific area, now you're looking at climate. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say that you're in class and you've been assigned to check the thermometer every day and log the temperature in your journal. That's checking and recording the weather. But let's say you look at your data and average all of your temperatures for February together. And note that the average temperature every day for your school was 57 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius. That's part of your specific location's climate. If we look at Texas and say that East Texas has a warm and wet climate, while West Texas has a hot and dry climate, these both describe their climate. And that is different than saying the weather forecast for El Paso or Longview. Even though El Paso has a dry climate over the whole year, they still have wet weather and rainy days. And the opposite is true for Longview. Even though it is a wetter climate, sometimes they have dry, hot weather. That would be an example of weather. Let's look at a question. 